everyone. Welcome to Pageant Live. This is Brooke Packard. I am Queen Beauty, District of Columbia 2019. And today I have the honor of interviewing Marissa Butler, who just so happens to be the Miss World America 2018 title holder. Hi, Marissa. How are you? Hi, good. And yourself? I'm good, thank you. Could you tell us a little bit about your year as a reign as Miss World America? Of course. So my reign has started in a different way for most uh, title holders. I was actually selected from a selection committee. So what that entailed was sending in video clips and doing interview rounds and sending in a resume uh, to Miss World America directors and hoping that we keep making it on to the next round each time. Um, when I finally got in and announced I was in the top 10, I got a phone call from Michael uh, as I was on my way home from work. And he was like, are you sitting down? Uh, can I talk to you about something right now? And I was like, uh, okay, uh, what, what is it, Michael? He's like, well, we've narrowed it down to two people and you're one of those two. Um, and at that point I thought he was gonna tell me I was first runner up because I've had a horrible case of first runner ups my whole pageant career. You know, what would you say if we said we were gonna send you to China? And I was like, you better not be joking with me right now. <laughs> Um, and so he was like, you know what, you, you won, you can't tell anyone until we announce it publicly, but we wanted to call you first. Um, so I had to not even tell my mother for a whole 24 hours, which is probably the hardest secret I've ever had to keep in my life. Um, I really I'm the same way with my mom. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> everything. And, um, so from there, it was quite a whirlwind. So I went from winning my title to having to go to China within less than a month. So all that preparation had to happen really quickly. Uh, and it was quite a busy, hectic time in my life. Um, but as soon as I was on the plane to China, I took a little bit of a breath and realized I'm going to still not have a breath for another month and a half. <laughs> um, <laughs> But Miss World was one of the most amazing experiences of my life. I met some of my greatest friends. Uh, and I was really fortunate enough that while I was there, I had a very strong core group of girlfriends that we all are still very close with. Uh, the girl I was closest with, actually, was Vanessa Ponce de Leon. As you know, she's the reigning Miss World. So mm -hmm. I was able to watch my best friend at the pageant get crowned Miss World and shared that moment with her afterwards. And we just hung out in my uh, hotel room and I got to try on the sash. Shh, don't tell anyone. <laughs> <It's me. laughs> uh, so it, it was just quite an amazing experience. Um, and obviously since I got home, you know, it's just keeping up with my view of purpose work and, and things of that matter and just got back from Ireland as well. I love it. So I've actually never been out of the country, so I'm a little bit jealous. <laughs> I'm hoping to one day. I want to travel the world so bad. But speaking mm -hmm. of Ireland, I heard you just got back, right? So you had a photo shoot over there. Would you mind sharing? Uh, so our fitness wear sponsor, r, &R Fits, uh, they're based in Ireland, and they flew me out to do a promotional video shoot and photo shoot uh, for the line. Uh, as well as doing some promotional work for Miss World America in Ireland, uh, which I didn't really think that many people were going to be interested in who Miss World America was in Ireland, but I was very surprised at the little bit of celebrity status that I had over there when I was there. Um, I got to travel all over Ireland. Uh, I think we hit almost every single corner of it. So, and it was only over a very short weekend. So it was a lot of driving. Um, but I think the highlight for me while I was there was I got to tour Kilkenny Castle, which is the castle that the butlers ruled for 400 years in Ireland. And that's where I traced back my family roots. Uh, so I got to learn a little bit more about my family while also going and uh, participating in this promotional video shoot as well. Um, and not to mention, uh, they completely kicked my butt in the video uh, workout that we had to do. It was about two hours worth of cardio. And anyone who knows me is I'm not a very much a cardio girl, even though I am a fitness girl. Uh, so, that in common. <laughs> so it was a bit of a struggle, but it was definitely worth it. I was sore for probably a week after that. I believe it. Cardio can be a pain, but it's worth it in the long run. 
pun unintended. <laughs> um, now, speaking of Miss World America, you know the purpose, as most of us know, goes with it. So tell us a little bit about your project with Beauty with a Purpose. So my project is Service Saturday. And basically what that entails is trying to incorporate uh, volunteerism within your daily routine or your weekly routine. I always found it was much easier to have follow through on something when you have it written down, you have it part of that schedule. So every Saturday morning, I would get together with a group of my friends and would go and do different service projects around San Diego. Uh, so of course, those would be varying because it depends on who needs someone uh, to volunteer on Saturday mornings. But for me, I really try to find more environmentally focused uh, organizations because it's something that is so near and dear to my heart. I grew up in front of a wildlife preserve. My mom was always helping stray animals. We always joke that she's uh, the Snow White of the family. Um, and it's just something that's always been really important to me. I love the outdoors. I love hiking. Uh, so I want to make sure that the world we are living in is taken care of that, you know, whether it's uh, the trash cleanups or watering flowers, removing weeds, um, all these little tiny things that, you know, it only takes a few hours out of your Saturday morning, but it can make a really huge difference. Um, and the two that I've really been focused on the most in the past uh, two years is um, the San Diego Audubon Society with uh, their California Lease Turn Habitat Restoration Sites. Uh, so if, and that's actually a really cool point is San Diego is actually home to the most endangered uh, plant and animal life in the country in the California. Mm -hmm. Born in yeah. San Diego. So that's a new fact. In the mm -hmm. continental U.S. I'm pretty sure Hawaii might have a little bit more than us, but mm -hmm. in the continental U U.S., uh, San Diego uh, is up there, and the California least term was actually the first animal on the endangered list in the United States. So they're only nesting in a few sites within San Diego, and it's really important that we keep those. Uh, safe for them so that's something that i've been doing for the past few years i am behind that because i love animals uh my mom hates me every time i bring home an animal and it's a problem <laughs> i adopted my and they didn't even know until i told them and they showed up in my apartment at the school but um <laughs> i used to go live with my mom she would let you take all the animals <laughs> we, uh, your mom and i would be good friends <laughs> um anyhow so i just want to congratulate you rewinding back to the fitness kind of Things. Congratulations on winning the sports round. Thank you. I actually have my trophy. If you don't mind, I'll go grab it for you so you can yes, see. Please do. I'd love to see it. <laughs> so, a fun fact about the Miss World a sw Sports Women Trophy is it is in two parts. Oh, they just told me that when I very first got it. So, they handed it to me like this. I grabbed it. The ball fell off and fell right onto the <laughs> ground immediately. Um, but this is probably my most prized possession because what I really went to Miss World for, obviously everyone goes to win, but I wanted to make sure I had a really tangible goal um, that, you know, whether or not I walked away with the crown, because there's 118 girls that go. Um, and I just really wanted to do well in the sports round. Uh, I was always an athlete growing up. I played soccer, lacrosse, and cheering all the way through college at D2 level. Oh. Um, yes, and I've been training with my trainer for this sports competition for the past two years specifically um, because this is something that I, when I entered Miss World, that was what I thought was the most amazing part about the Miss World pageant because it's the only pageant that really has a real fitness component. And while other pageants, they have a uh, swimsuit, which can show fitness, I feel that I always really wanted to show that just because I might look a certain way doesn't mean I also can't do X, Y, and Z. I can't lift very heavy weights or that I can't run or have stamina. And this is something that I really prided myself on and really identified myself as was being an athlete. So it was really, really exciting for me to be able to like showcase that part of my personality because it has been such an integral part of who I am since I was a little girl. You know, I can relate to that because I played volleyball for seven years year round. And I actually originally had a full ride. So I, I'm a sports girl as well. And I can relate 100%. Yeah. <laughs> now I'm going to move on to a question, a fill in the blank question. Okay. 
going to be Miss World of America 2019 is. And you're just going to say whatever you think feels accurate to you. Well, whenever I think of who a title holder is, um, I always think that Miss World America 2019 is a woman who is unapologetic of who she is. Because when you are fully true to who you are, that is going to be the moment that you are the most confident in yourself. That's going to be the moment when you inspire others the most. And I think that the real main role of a title holder is to show little girls or little boys everywhere that you can be whoever you want to be. And as long as you're happy, uh, that you can do such amazing things with that. Uh, I think that too often times when we are competing in pageants, at least for me, when I was younger, I was always comparing myself to the other girls. Um, and I think that that was really the reason why it took me so long to end up winning. I always kept getting first and up. I was like, I was so close. I was so close. Well, if I did this like this girl did, maybe I'd win. And the second I stopped thinking that was the second I won. It, the second I started saying, you know what? No, I just want to be who I am. And if they like who I am, that's great. And if they don't, you know, I'm still happy with who I am. And it's that mentality you need to go into a pageant with, because otherwise, if you win as who you aren't, then it doesn't really mean as much. So my advice to anyone who is competing is be unapologetically you and be really, really happy and loud and proud about that because every single person has their own story and is absolutely beautiful. And if you showcase your story um, in a way that you're proud of it, then it really, really shows. And I think that also follows into just life in general. When you're true to yourself, it, it really shows a good amount of how much you can succeed at in life. Just mm -hmm. like it's a great thing. Now, is there any advice you would like to pass on to your future successor? Uh, for my future successor, get a lot of sleep before you go to China. <laughs> You're not <laughs> going to get very many of it. Um, and I think that the biggest part is when you are at Miss World is to just really take it all in and to really savor all those little moments, even the moments that are really hard um because i i'm not gonna lie it's a stressful time while you're there i probably cried about five times while i was there but really lean into the girls that are there with you and are sharing this experience with you um i'd like to share a little story about one of those experiences that i had in this world so thanksgiving is an extraordinarily big part of my family dynamic and when I was at Miss World, it was the first time I was outside the United States and unable to celebrate Thanksgiving. And Fantastic. Vanessa had noticed that I was feeling a little bit down in, in the few days surrounding Thanksgiving. You know, she came over to me, she's like, what's wrong? Like, well, are you okay? Like, then can you talk to me about it? Um, and I just told her, you know, I was really missing my family. And on Thanksgiving day, uh, she, she told me, hey, come and meet me in my room after we get done with rehearsals. And you know, it was something we always did, so I didn't think anything of it. And I went there and uh, she was like, oh, I knew you were a little sad for Thanksgiving. So I just wanted to like, we could just hang out, eat food and like talk. And then all of a sudden, all of our friends burst out of the closet in the, in oh my the room. <laughs> They start playing music and they were they were like, we all want to celebrate Thanksgiving with you. It was probably about 15 of the girls all decided to surprise me with this um, because they, they noticed that I was having a hard time. And uh, one of the things, this is the thing I think I will remember the absolute most about my experience there besides hearing Vanessa win um, <laughs> was that we all sat around in a circle uh, because they asked, what are some of the traditions you do? Uh, and I always said that my family, we always say something that we're thankful for uh, before we eat our meal. And so we all went around and said what we were thankful for. And the girls opened up so much and like really shared very intimate details of their life. And we had this very amazing moment where we all were very vulnerable and open to one another. And that, 
that was the moment I think that really solidified that we were all going to be friends for life. And uh, so when you go to Miss World, be open to those moments, be open to having those connections with the other girls, because that's what the, the whole competition is more about. Because every single one of those women are amazing in their own right. They have all of their amazing beauty with the purposes. They are gorgeous and talented, but only one girl is going to be Miss World. But every single girl is going to have a best friend for the rest of her life. So be really, really open to that experience and not be so zoned in on the crown that you really forget to take in all the beautiful moments around you while you're there. That's great advice. I like that a lot. Mm -hmm. Now, before we wrap up, I just want to do a quick speed round. So okay. whatever comes in your mind first. <laughs> okay. Are you ready? Mm -hmm. All right. Favorite color? Blue. Favorite movie? <laughs> what? Favorite movie? Oh, I don't watch movies very often. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> you out there anyway. It's hard to choose. It's more like a movie than a TV show. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, we'll move on to the next one. Not okay. that <laughs> All right, so if you were an animal, what would it be? I would be probably a jaguar. I think that they're kind of like sporty, but also sleek. So <laughs> <laughs> my favorite animal is a snow leopard. So they're like kind of majestic. Oh, nice. All right, so that's one favorite country. The U.S. <laughs> um, we we got to be a little biased. Home. <laughs> home, but my favorite country to travel to, I would have to say, would be um, the U.K. I studied abroad at King's College London. Um, so London holds a really, really special place in my heart. Um, so that would have to be my second, which, you know, I would have been happy if I had won Miss World because I would have been able to call London home again for a little bit. But, hey, I get to go visit my friend Vanessa. So it's not a bad consolation prize. <laughs> All right, so I saw a photo on social media revealing the new crown. I've heard it's record-breaking. Could you tell us a little bit about it? It's really exciting. Yeah, so the crown is made from gold, emeralds, and diamonds, and it is the most expensive pageant crown in the United States. I haven't gotten to see it in person yet, but I'm really looking forward to it because I'll be able to wear it for my photo shoot for the program book for Miss World America 2019. We don't have a date yet set for the final, but it will be in September. You can follow America's Miss World on Instagram um, and Miss World America on Facebook and to find out more details as those are released. All right. Well, thank you. I can't thank you enough for joining us here at Pageant Live. And it was really nice meeting you. Of course. Thank you so much for having me. Of course. And everyone listening in, be sure to comment below. If you have any questions, feel, we will be more than happy to answer them. All right, so you can follow Pageant Live on Instagram and Facebook. And thank you for joining us. Have a good night, everyone. Bye-bye.